I'm bored. There's nothing to do. I know we can. We did that last week. Well, what about um yesterday, remember? I'm so bored. You know, there's lots of stuff to do in the summer in Littleton. My cousin went to a pioneer camp called Adventures in History at the Littleton Museum. Adventures in History is a summer camp designed for kids going into fourth, fifth, and sixth grade in the fall. We do it each month of the summer for one week. So it runs Monday through Friday. The kids are here from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And during the week we just do a variety of different activities that gives them a little bit of taste of what life was like in the past. We do something different each day. Um, Probably the highlights of the program are craft day and uh, probably the most popular activity we do that day is blacksmithing. So the kids actually get to go into the blacksmith shop, they, use, they get to work around the fire with the anvil with a hammer and they get to make a hook or, or something like that. This year we've done uh, seashell boxes and for the Victorians bringing nature indoors was um, very important and so they get to work with seashells and they get to make their own little um, box that they can take home. Another really popular day though is the day that they spend out in the schoolhouse. So they get to pretend that they are pioneer kids going to school in 1865 and so they go through lessons, they do a craft activity, they have recess where they get to play pioneer games. Um, another day we have a scavenger hunt in the morning. We have riddles and then one person takes a picture of whatever it is that we think is the answer to the riddle. And in the afternoon we do a historic music and dance program. We offer a variety of different educational programs on the Living History Farms and also in the museum and the um, exhibit galleries. On the Living History Farms we actually publish a brochure that is quarterly and it lists several different programs that we do. So it may be butter making, it um, could be summer refreshments, it could be pioneer games. We always have costumed interpreters out here on the farms doing the different activities that need to be done for the day. Uh, so exa for example I might have an interpreter who's working in the garden pulling weeds this time of year because that's what needs to be done and that would be what the pioneers were doing. But she's also here to educate, so people that come to visit, they can interact with her, talk to her about what she's doing and what the importance of, was for, of gardening was for the pioneers. And so um, we offer that all year round, actually. So we are open all year. We are only closed on Mondays and major holidays. My little neighbors spent a week learning how to be a firefighter at the Mini Fire Academy. Here we are for our Littleton Kids Mini Fire Academy. This is our 25th session. We do two sessions per summer, one in June, one in July. It's for kids ages 8 to 12, and we have 25 kids per session. We usually have a waiting list going because it's such a popular program. While we're here together, we learn about first aid, we learn about the knots that firefighters use to do their job, we learn about bike safety, we learn about the life of a firefighter, we get to um, tour the station, and we also, down here today, we're learning about some of the activities that firefighters do to prove that they're physically fit. So we have a group of kids working on the combat challenge. They're working with the hose and they're learning about different spray patterns and how they work together as a team to accomplish their goal. I have to say that these are two of my favorite weeks of the year because I get to meet a group of kids and we get to see them for four days in a row. We get to learn their names, we get to watch their personalities, we get to see them um, really gel as a team. We very much emphasize teamwork and cooperating and working together and taking the opportunity to meet new people and um, all of the kids have a blast and it's just it's a great time for everybody. The overall goal of the program is number one to help people understand more about Littleton Fire Rescue and to give kids a chance to get a glimpse into the life of a firefighter. At the same time it's also a great opportunity for us to talk about safety and to 
create fun activities to help the kids learn about safety while they're having fun. The Mini Academy is one of the programs that I'm in charge of, but then we also spend a lot of time in the schools talking to kids about fire safety and pedestrian safety and stranger awareness. We have an educational characterization program where we take puppet shows into the schools and we do that for first and second grade classrooms. We also have a program for juvenile fire setters for kids who have issues with misusing fire. And we also do a lot of community outreach at special events. To find any additional information on all of our programs, you can visit our website. Go to littletongov.org slash fire, and all of the information is on there. My brother got his first job in the city of Littleton. I'm Tim Weaver, traffic analyst for the city of Littleton. One of the programs that I oversee is the first job program. Uh, those kids are working behind me right now, planting some bushes. First job program has been going on for 12 years, uh, started in 2001. There's two sessions each summer, four weeks long. There's six kids in each session. Kids are 14 to 16 years old. We started the program because it's hard for kids that age to find a job and get paid. It's a little easier if you're 18. They do grounds maintenance work around the city. Uh, that involves weeding and sweeping and trash removal. The other thing that we try to do with each group is have them do a planting job uh, each time so that they have something that they can go and point to if they ever want to show their friends or their parents or relatives. And it's pretty cool. We use the former plantings as examples when we go and give the kids a tour on the first day. They also take tours of the fire station and the police station. Uh, they can take a tour of our sewer plant. They go watch a court proceeding at municipal court. We teach them a civics class for government. We also teach them how to do interviews better, how to fill out a job application, and they get to leave with a resume on nice paper. Uh, the program has been going on for a while. It's been pretty successful. Had a lot of kids from the program call us later for references. The goal of the program is a couple of things. We want to teach them how to come to their first job, be on time, work with others, that kind of thing. Teach them how to fill out a payroll slip. Another goal of the program is to teach them about government uh, local government in particular since they work for a local government that's why we have them do tours of different departments and why we do the civics class so that they understand a little bit more about their local government. If anybody's interested in doing the program next summer uh, we usually do interviews in May uh, we advertise the job first part of May on our website littletongov.org and it's a great first job because it's a lot of fun. It's not constant pressure. It's... My friend performed a song and dance number at the Bemis Talent Show and won a hundred bucks. Oh baby, won't you play me the jazz hot baby? We are doing the Teen Talent Show here tonight for the library. Uh, this is my fifth or sixth year doing the talent show. Um, it is a wonderful process. It is very difficult picking the winners, um, but it's a lot of fun seeing how amazingly talented these kids are. Uh, to give some idea of what they have to go through, there's an audition process. Um, and we had close to 60 kids, I think, audition this year. And they have to walk into a room and s perform with no extra stuff going on, just them and, and the judges sitting there watching them, so it's a tough process. And uh, we uh, narrow it down with the judges scoring down to the final performers, and uh, I keep it sort of half and half, younger kids and older kids. And then we uh, do the show. Tonight, uh, we, we have mainly singing. Uh, the teens are mainly performing vocal tracks. We had um, a couple of dancers. Uh, we had a violin player. And we also had a, a guitar.
guitarist. Staring at a maple leaf, leaning on them by the tree. Uh, one person did a little jazz routine with a jazz dance in, in the song. Um, we, I get all kinds of uh, talents audition. Um, I've had everything from jugglers to singing to we've had people act out plays, poetry readings, um, every instrument you can think of we've had up here. So you get a huge array of uh, talents. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Sort of my philosophy with working with teens is anything that gets them here into the building is a step towards maybe turning them into a lifelong library user, lifelong reader. And then I think for the kids, it's a, it's a huge benefit to their self-esteem at an age when, when things are tough. You know, the teen years are not the easiest years and they uh, come in here and do an audition and then get up in front of 100 people and perform and, and they find out they're as strong as, as they are and, and as talented as they are. Um, so I think it's a wonderful program for them. I love doing it. We offer all kinds of programs. Um, I do everything from duct tape, making things out of duct tape, to tie-dyeing t-shirts, and you know, we shoot rockets off out in the summer, you know, out on the front lawn, um, the talent show. Uh, this year we had programs on hydroponics. Um, I do movies first Saturday of every month for teens. Uh, we have video game programs. Um, we have a, the teen deck here at the library is a new thing we've opened. It's got uh, computers and video games and iPads they can use. We try and do anything that I think the kids are going to be interested in. I do have a teen advisory group that um, they, they tell me things that uh, are popular now to help me keep with it. Um, so, and then of course books, movies, magazines, all that kind of stuff. Um, and if people are interested in finding out more about the uh, teen services here at the library, they can go to the website. Um, there is also a teen blog and they can also email me or contact me here at the library and I'd be happy to tell them anything they want to know. My sister and her friends learned about crime detection at the Teen CSI program. The Teen CSI program is a joint cooperative effort by the Bemis Public Library as part of their summer reading program and the Littleton Police Department Youth Outreach Program, where we try to involve our young adults of high school age, introduce them to law enforcement, introduce them to the world of forensic science, and to let them know that there are people here with the Littleton Police Department who perform these specialized jobs as it relates to the collection and processing of evidence. The participants in this program learn a wide variety of things that relate to forensic science. We teach them about crime scene photography. We teach them about documenting a crime scene with diagramming and note taking. We teach them about the legal requirements necessary for the police to collect evidence at crime scenes, whether they have a legal right to take it or whether they need to get a search warrant. We discuss uh, latent print processing where the students get to actually have hands-on use of fingerprinting um, methods and materials and collect latent prints off of various surfaces. We show them some of the chemical processes that we use in the Littleton Police Department lab. As demonstrated by these uh, exhibits in front of us, we teach them about the science of bloodstain pattern analysis and how the shape and patterns of bloodstains can be used to reconstruct the events of a crime. In addition to that, we teach them about a forensic light source. The tools that people see on the popular forensic TV shows and the realities of what they can and can't do. We talk to them about DNA evidence collection. We show them how to um, collect footwear impressions out of soil. We are using some chemicals where they will um, be able to see blood stains luminesce in the dark, which is another thing that they often see on television. We present several case studies and we try to pick cases that involve young adults so that they can really relate to the bad things that can happen to them if they make the wrong choices as they're getting to the age where peer pressure can steer them in the wrong direction. So I think all in all the takeaway for the participants is for them to be introduced to law enforcement as a career choice, to understand the realities and the opportunities in the world of forensic science as they relate to law enforcement.
Wow, I never knew how much stuff there was to do in Linton to some kids like us.